Now that we've reviewed the seeds and crop pages, let's take a look at products. Now remember, you grow a crop and you sell a product. The product is the form in which you offer your crops for sale, so we need to differentiate them on Seedleaf. So we're going to take a look at here uh, how you create a product from your crops, and we're going to take a look at three different product types. Single crop products, blended crop products, and live crop products. So let's start with a single crop product using our Thai basil. We're in products here. We go to add and we need a name. And just like our crop, it should be a specific and descriptive name. So let's call this one basil again, Thai for the variety. And then we're going to give this one another modifier called clam. The clam referring to the clam shell or our packaging type. Then we need a crop. And do you know which crop we'll select? We're going to select our ba basil Thai 1020 cut because we're cutting the crop to go into our clam cell packaging. We're not going to do a blend now. And here we're selecting either cut or live tray and we know it's a cut. Now seed leaf allows you to create three different cut sizes per product, small, medium, and large. And you can customize the price and quantity for each individual product. We're going to do our first one here, small, 40 grams for $6. We're going to add another size, cut, medium, 80 grams for $10. And a third size, cut, large, uh, 150 grams for $18. Now, even though we are creating a cut product here, we can also have a tray size that we can sell live. So if we select live tray and call it $18, that's going to mean a live 1020 tray of basil. Now, another option here is to create a crop called Thai basil 1020 live and use that. You will get the same result. It will just report a little differently. And now we're going to add this crop. So we can see it here, basil, Thai, and that's our clamshell. Let's add another one. Basil, Thai. We're going to call this one 1010 Live because we are going to use our Thai basil 1010 Live crop. It's a live crop, so it can't be a blend. It's a live tray here that we're going to sell for $10. Oops, I didn't mean to add a size. And there we have it. Now we have our basil Thai 1010 Live and our basil Thai clam, which has a small, medium, and large size as well as a live tray. So that is our single crop product and our live crop product. Now let's create a blended product. So we're going to call this one Nutty Basil Clam. And our first crop is going to be our Thai 1020 basil. And then we're going to go to Add Blend. And the basil is going to be 50%. And then crop 2 is going to be arugula, which is also going to be 50%. So now we have a blended product that's half basil, half arugula. It's going to be a cut. And we're going to go through the same process here. Small, 40 grams for $6. And these can be different from your other pricing for sure, but I'm just going to be consistent. Oops, medium for 80 grams at $10. And then our third one is going to be a large, 150 grams. And did I do $18 before? Let's hope I got that right. And there we go. We cannot do a live tray version of a blended product because it's two different crops being used. So we're not going to do that here. We create that. And there, now we've got our nutty basil clam right there. So we've just created three new products that are very different, but about the same to create. If you want to delete a product, simply check the box next to it, click the delete box, and it'll disappear. 
Sometimes you might go to delete a product and it won't let you. Let's try our spicy mix here. We're getting an error message and this is because this product is currently being used in an order and because that order means it's for a customer, we can't actually delete that product. So there you go. There's an overview of products. Now that we have seeds, crops, and products, we can take a look at customers.